So congrats on adding that Instagram header to our new WordPress blogs. We've now set up our very first feature. And one thing that became clear is that the use of plugins to make our WordPress website come to life is going to be pretty important. So why don't we head over to plugins and we'll make sure we have the right plugins installed and delete some we don't need. So I'm going to click back to the dashboard and now we can click on plugins. Alright, and so your WordPress plugins list could be a little different than mine. These are basically the plugins that Bluehost decided to give us by default. These plugins are all free, and if you end up deactivating or deleting one of them by accident, you can get them all back through the WordPress plugin library here if you just click on Add New and do a search for it. So a lot of people panic if like a plugin is missing or if they delete it, but you don't need to. These are all free. So I'm going to go through the list and delete the ones we don't need because that'll save space on our WordPress blogs and make it run faster for everyone. So the first plugin is Akismet. We should always activate that one because that'll protect you from spam comments. Meaning the spam comments won't get published directly on your blog, they'll get stalled and you can approve or delete them in your dashboard. We can follow the links from Akismet really quickly to set up your account. We can click set up your Akismet account. It's going to ask you to log in with WordPress.com, so you'll have to create a free account if you don't have one. Akismet is just hosted at WordPress.com for some reason, and then they'll give you a key to put in right here in your WordPress dashboard. So when you have a few minutes after you watch the video, make sure to take care of this step. All right, we're going to go back to plugins, and we're going to see that there's a Bluehost plugin here. So we're going to keep that one because it lets you easily go back and forth between your Bluehost control panel and your WordPress dashboard. Next, we have Google Analytics by Monster Insights. We're going to deactivate that one because I'm going to show you how to manually add WordPress with Google Analytics the old-fashioned way so you actually know how it all works and you don't just use a plugin to do it. All right, next we have Hello Dolly. We don't need that one. It's just a fun little quote that goes in the upper right corner, usually from a jazz musician. Below that, we have Jetpack. We're going to deactivate that because we don't want to use really many tools at all from WordPress.com except for Akismet. Then we have Optin Monster. We're going to deactivate that one. Although I do use that on my Dear Blogger blog to collect subscribers. It's just, it's one of the coolest pop up plugins. We're already using Smash Balloon for our Instagram, so don't touch that one. Keep it activated. And then WP Forms Lite, we can deactivate that one as well. All right, now that our plugins are cleaned up a little, we just want to make sure we delete the ones we're not using. Again, there's no harm deleting them, and you can get them all back right here in your WordPress plugin library if you want later on. Very good, guys. So when you refresh your plugins page, you now should have a screen that looks sort of like mine here, Akismet, Bluehost, and Smash Balloon. And now it's time to install the main plugin that the Alder theme uses to add tons of new features like you see on the demo site right here. And that would be Alder Core. So let's click Add New and do a quick search for Alder Core and hit Enter. So the Alder Core plugin is actually so specific that it's not available through most people's default WordPress plugin libraries, but thankfully it's one of the plugins they've notified us that they recommend right here. So all you need to do is click Begin Installing Plugins up top. I'm going to click in the upper left for the bulk uh, select all, and then from the actions we're going to hit install and click apply. And sit back and watch as your WordPress blog becomes that much more powerful. Alright, once these are done installing, we're going to go back to plugins, and we'll probably need to activate each individual plugin. So that's pretty easy, just hit activate, and activate, and activate. And lastly, activate. And all these plugins are recommended by Alder, so they should do wonders for our site. So congrats, now you have a complete awesome looking plugins list. We might need to get a couple more on the fly as we build our site, but at least you know how plugins work, and a lot more than just the general explanation that they increase the functionality of your site.